Boeing Co. Starliner astronaut spacecraft made a bull's eye landing in the New Mexico desert on Sunday, a successful ending to a crewless test mission that two days earlier failed to reach the orbit needed to dock with the International Space Station. The 7.58 a.m. Eastern Time, 12.58 GMT landing at the White Sands Desert capped a turbulent 48 hours for Boeing's botched milestone test of an astronaut capsule that is designed to help NASA regain its human spaceflight capabilities. A software problem on Friday caused the capsule to fail to attain the orbit needed to rendezvous with the space station, another unwelcome engineering black eye for Boeing in a year that has seen corporate crisis over the grounding of its 737 MAX jetliner following two fatal crashes of the aircraft. Sunday's landing marked the first time a U.S. orbital space capsule designed for humans landed on land. All past U.S. capsules, including SpaceX's Crew Dragon, splashed down in the ocean. Russia's Soyuz capsules and China's past crew capsules made land landings. The now-retired space shuttle used to glide in like a massive plane. Officials from the aerospace company and NASA breathed sighs of relief following the landing, a highly challenging feat. Today it couldn't really have gone any better. Boeing Space Chief Executive Jim Chilton told reporters on Sunday. He added that experts would need weeks to analyze the data from this mission before determining if Boeing could move forward with its plan to send a crewed mission on the craft in 2020. The landing, which tested the capsule's difficult re-entry into the atmosphere and parachute deployment, will yield the mission's most valuable test data after it failed to meet one of its core objectives of docking to the space station. We're going to get, I think, a lot more data than we would have gotten if the test had gone according to plan," NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein said. After Starliner's touchdown, teams of engineers in trucks raced to inspect the vehicle, whose six airbags cushioned its impact on the desert surface as planned, a live video feed showed. The spacecraft was in good condition after landing, Chilton said, with little charring and stable air pressure and temperature in the cabin. The CST-100 Starliner's debut launch to orbit was a milestone test for Boeing. The company is vying with SpaceX, the privately held rocket company of billionaire high-tech entrepreneur Elon Musk, to revive NASA's human spaceflight capabilities. SpaceX carried out a successful unmanned flight of its Crew Dragon capsule to the space station in March. Please subscribe our YouTube channel Listen News here. If you like the video please like, comment and share the video.